editing Lauren here. Unfortunately, this video is demonetized. I can't fix it because it has copyrighted material in it, which I understand. So if you want to support me and my channel, make sure you go check out the merch link down below. And if you want to, you can also leave a tip if you like. Hello and welcome back to the gay side of the internet. Today we are doing something a little different. We're going to be watching six lesbians versus one straight girl. Who is the straight girl? We don't know yet. We're gonna find out. <laughs> I like to think that I have a good gator, but this video is gonna really put me to the test because there's gonna be a whole heap of gays and one straight girl. Am I gonna be able to get my straight radar? <laughs> Do I have a good straighter? Let's find out. This video is part of the 12 Gays of Christmas. I post videos every second day during December. It's a really fun festive time. So if this is the first time you're seeing me, make sure you subscribe down below because I make videos just like this one all the time. Okay, let's go. I don't own ear pods, so I'm gonna look like an idiot wearing these. <laughs> I'm sorry. This is a Jubilee video, by the way, which we're reacting to today. I will leave the link to the whole thing in the description. I'm a lesbian. 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 Okay, first impression. I don't believe the girl with the blue hair because she's kind of strung out her I am a lesbian, not I'm a lesbian. I just didn't fully believe it. So that is my initial gut feeling. I'm like, she's she's the straight girl. Hi, I'm Mars, and I went to an all-girls school for five years, so I feel like that's pretty <laughs> self-explanatory. Hi, I'm Gianna. I feel like my appearance is an upset, to be honest. Hi, my name is Elisa. My girlfriend was the first time I ever stood up for myself. Hi, my name is Iris, and I uh, eat what I have. No, I am not buying that. I know, like, the girl with the blue hair, I was like, yeah, Maybe, maybe. No, this one, I don't believe that for a second. Uh, my name's Maya and I go to Berkeley and I'm a film and media student. Maya is definitely gay. Maya is gay. Uh, my name's Claire. I've been in a relationship with the most beautiful woman, my girlfriend, for two and a half years officially yesterday. <laughs> mm, her eyes were going everywhere for that statement. All of these things. <laughs> Maya and I've been married since January 31st. <laughs> The women will now vote for who they think is straight. Put her out just because she was the straightest looking. I feel it. I understand. Secondly, Everyone's voting Iris. I looked at everybody's outfits and I feel like everyone just kind of had like a more eccentric vibe. Mara was just wearing shorts and a t-shirt. Yeah, I understand. <sighs> Y'all, it is not me though, for real. She just talks a little bit too much and it feels like she's overcompensating. <laughs> I'm letting y'all know right now, it is not me. Y'all will see my girl outside. <laughs> it's letting y'all know. Okay, Iris has said a lot of stuff and a couple of the other girls were like, you know what, she talks a lot and that's what you do when you're nervous. So she's either really nervous or she's nervous because she's hiding something. It's probably the hair, it's probably the lashes, the makeup, the gloss, so you would never guess. <laughs> If she was straight, it would make so much sense. But if she was lesbian, she'd be an extremely femme lesbian. So all the girls are going through all of their childhood crushes right now from movies and stuff. Have you guys seen Lizzie McGuire? Or are you yeah. too young yeah. for that? Yes. Miranda. Oh, so real. Okay, Miss Honey was a big one for Matilda. Yes. But also Amanda Bynes. Sixth grade was RuPaul's Drag Race, Adore Delano. Oh <laughs> that was my, her in drag, I don't know. Rooney Mara from Carol, if you guys have seen that movie. Ah. Uh, Oh my God. I don't believe Alyssa though in this statement. A bank teller that I went to go see with my dad and I think he was using me as his wingman, <laughs> but I had my own yeah. <laughs> idea of what was going on. Right there was this girl in my like fourth grade class, I want to say. Maz is really pretty. She was standing in front of me at the teacher's desk yeah. and I stood like super close to her and I was like, oh my God. <laughs> Now they're going through whether they are top or bottoms. Verse, switch, um, uh, I'm definitely femme. Claire is all over the place. I don't know. Oh, out of the girls that are left, she's probably wearing the most girly thing besides the girl on the left with the shorts and the shirt. But we're playing on stereotypes. Big, big disclaimer. I am using all of the gay stereotypes for this video. We might be proven wrong at the end. Speaking of clothing, don't forget to check out merch down below. I am currently wearing the limited edition Sappho long sleeve tee. Has little rainbow violet and 
one of Sappho's poems on the sleeve, which is really cute. And the back as well. The back is just so cute. <laughs> Make sure you check out the merch link down below. If you do grab one, thank you so much for choosing to support my channel. Let's keep going. I would say I'm Switch, but also I feel like, no offense to you cute Gen Zers, I feel like the mask femme thing is a little bit more Gen Z than when I was growing up and coming out. Those terms didn't even exist then. She's right. She is right. I'm more like mask top, as you can tell. But yeah, I would say, I mean, I like to bottom, you know, whatever. Ever. Uh, but I do become more like feminine when I'm like in the club. Popping. Yeah. Popping. Yeah. 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 I know. Okay, I know I was like Maya's definitely gay, but she's either nervous or like, oh, I didn't buy it. I didn't buy it. I'm not sure. I think I would be uh, a bottom. Sorry, I'm not used movie. to saying these things aloud, if you can no, for sure. tell. Despite that, really, really love wearing stuff that's more mass, like suits and ties are what I like to wear. Interesting answers. I'm sorry, Grandma, but I'm definitely... <laughs> um, Is she a bottom? I'm definitely verse, oh, and okay. I feel like yep. my appearance definitely leans more feminine, but in relationships, I'm typically the more masked person. I'm definitely a switch, and I think my style reflects that, like, pretty stereotypically. Sometimes I dress like a little fairy, sometimes I dress yeah. like a 12-year-old boy. I might have a little crush on Mars, just saying. How is everybody's family and friends when you guys came out. I did it at dinner over, I believe, Christmas break. I knew it was gonna have a bad response because I grew up in an Asian household that was like pretty traditional, conservative. My mom, first thing she said was that something about like conversion therapies and I would need to find a husband. And still to this day, she calls my uh, girlfriend of five years. Oh, why am I getting too emotional? No, don't. Oh, okay. Okay. She yeah, still calls yeah. my girlfriend of five, right. um, more than five years still my friend. Oh man. 30 seconds left. I feel. Um, I, my parents were very supportive. I grew up in a liberal Chicago <laughs> city based place. Um, yeah. They gave my dad gave me a pin and my mom said, yeah, of course you never liked boys. I came I out with a girlfriend when I was 15. <laughs> parents were cool, uncles gay, great. I also don't believe her either. Ah! Oh! <laughs> All right, at this point in the video, I'm going for the really tall, more mask top girl and then the one next to her. My principal outed me to my mom. My mom was not happy about it. I got grounded for like a year. It was really awesome. And then my girlfriend's parents, who were like strict Catholic Mexican parents, grounded her and pulled her out of the school. I came out as asexual when I was 16. And so, and that broke my parents' heart because they wanted me to find somebody that I loved. So when I was 18 and I came out, it was actually a huge relief to, to them. So I never had to come out. My mom knew I was gay. She asked me, my sister is gay. And so yeah, it's just always kind of been apparent. <laughs> the women would now vote for who they think is straight. A lot of people are saying Gina, the girl with the blue hair, and I understand. Even though she looked definitely the part and I really believed her confidence, I just thought, okay, I think other people are also gonna vote for her. Claire. Claire has my vote now. I reckon Claire. I knew I shouldn't <laughs> have brought up the fact that my sister was gay, but I figured my appearance kind of gave it all away. No, honey. I don't know. I don't get... It. Like like I said, my immediate reaction for Gina was no. Like, you weren't gay. But it's gonna be funny if one of these people that they voted off actually turns out to be the gay one. Please raise your hand if you want to continue playing the game. All right, that's very clear. What's the gayest thing you've ever done to impress a woman? Let's see. I made matching silk chiffon heart-shaped pillows for my girlfriend and I because we both love Muna's silk chiffon song. That is so ultra specific. I don't buy it. I don't buy it. I was in a relationship, like sort of long distance, and I would drive like twice a week to San Luis Obispo. I had a long distance partner in Sweden for over five years. Okay. What I did do was buy her a limited edition TCG mount on World of Warcraft. <laughs> I know that sounds super nerdy, but oh, it's- Oh, that's cool. Alyssa is a nerd and I love it. I worked in editing on a video game series. You know, Life is Strange before the storm. Yes. So oh, I- Yes, 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 and Dana's my personal faith. So I got autographed from every single one of the people and gave it to my now wife. I think the gayest thing I've done is my best friend at the time came over and confessed that she was in love with me. And so then we like cried because I didn't feel the same. And then I made her dinner afterwards because I felt bad that she was crying. <laughs> You're not really talking about you being a lesbian. You're just kind of saying like, yeah, my friend had a crush on me and I denied her. Now we're getting into some more personal questions because they're going to try and weed out who they think is like the weakest link. Can I ask about how you met your wife? <laughs> Yes, so she's friends with two of my coworkers. So we had this oh. big LGBTQ Christian party, which is pretty unheard of. Okay. And I met her there. She is 47. She is a lot older than me. That was harder to stomach for my parents than me being right. gay. So do we buy it? 
Do we buy it? She's talking very fast. But I think in this environment, they're actually under a lot of pressure to get through it. Otherwise, it'll be a really long video. But they absolutely love her now. They actually gave her, this is the ring my my dad proposed to my mom with, and this is what oh, they so gave to her as like, we fully really accept you. I am really confident in you. I kind of have a little bit of, I was Next round of voting. A lot for Mars. Everyone but Mars seemed more lesbian to me because Mars was just like too pretty. <laughs> too pretty is not a reason for this. Oh no, That's and they've voted her off. <laughs> I'm feeling Bye, very, very humbled. I haven't had someone question my sexuality since I was probably 12. The clock ran out, so I wasn't able to answer. And so I left everyone with like a final impression of, oh, we're sus of Mars. Which is valid. New rule, every time you vote out the wrong person, the prize money is cut in half. They never said there was prize money in this, by the way. It's a bit weird, but okay. Things are about to get a little hotter in here. Please raise your hand if you want to continue playing the game. Let's do it. Okay. <laughs> and what is Why did she hesitate? She hesitated for that. I'm still sus on her. Favorite thing and least favorite thing about being a lesbian. The amount of acceptance in the community is, is lovely. Um, my least favorite thing is hearing the stories that my wife has gone through because she's 47 and so she obviously faced a lot more prejudice. Yeah. I would say that's my sorry, <laughs> least favorite thing. The community that involves but also decentralizing men from your life and how that's improved my relationships with other women. Um, also just being in love with a woman. I Claire's eyes are doing this thing. She's just looking all over the place. I don't know. I don't think that I buy it. My vote for this is Claire. I like being sort of just like the opposite of what yeah. is like normal. My least favorite thing is probably like older men not understanding. So Claire's gonna stay as my number one. Just feel like that she's sort of really putting it on. I have been in a relationship with a woman who happens to be trans. The last time I told my coworker about that, they said I, w I couldn't possibly classify myself as a lesbian if I was willing to be with someone before surgery and really digged into my um, sexual history too. Trans women are women. Don't let anyone invalidate trans people. If anyone has any doubts about me, I'd love to clear it up. I am at this point the most like- I am still so sus with Claire. Cause she has just volunteered. If anyone has any doubts, so maybe she's feeling like people might vote her out this round. Should I do all or nothing for the rest? Okay, I'm not allowed to guess anyone else. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. Straight looking of them all. I feel like two have cried. There's no way Maya's like not <laughs> a lesbian. It's gonna be me. Would you ever wanna get married someday? Yeah. So I'm working towards it. I, I do feel it's a little archaic. I do feel it's a little patriarchal. Yeah, I but agree. I do think it's evolving. I think for us, like she kind of mm. like hadn't been with any women before me. Yeah. Um, and she's sort of just like the lipstick lesbian type. So we don't want to just like conform and just like be just like a piece of paper. And... Yeah. Who are they gonna vote out this time? I think it's all over it the place. It is a four-way tie. <laughs> <laughs> so everyone's voted for everyone else in this one. No double ups. I don't know who voted me, but what are you thinking? I've been the person with the, the guard most down. There's there's so much detail in my stories. It's true. I don't think I've questioned Alyssa's stories yet. I'm going to cry if it turns out to be her. But yeah, I, I do think hers have been most believable because they have been quite detailed. You have 10 seconds to make your argument for why you should not be voted out. Liars typically are have their guard up, but I've been very vulnerable about my lived experience and what I had to go through. I buy it. I grew up playing soccer. I'm a golden gay, never had sex with a man. Um, serial dater, only dated women. Yeah, look at me. There's no way. I'm gonna take you to the camera <laughs> to tell my girlfriend, Allie, I love you so much. You're the light of my life. I'm gonna cry, but um, I love being lesbian. Please, like, be inclusive. If you're someone who's judgmental, stop it, knock it off. I feel bad because I really, I don't know if she's, Oh, and if I get this wrong, I'm gonna look so bad, but I feel like Claire's just maybe crying under stress. I'm sorry, but I still am voting her. I think my emotions with my love of my wife and the hardships that she has gone through hopefully make it pretty clear that I am 100% lesbian. <laughs> One of the things she said that stood out to me was she said, just look at me. I felt like, okay, she's dressing up. The comment of her just dressing up for it. I understand. That's, that's part of my slight suspicion, but I still have to go Claire. <laughs> All right, Myra is voted How out. How could you vote me? I am literally the blueprint. There's no way a straight girl can put on the sheep's clothing. Please raise <laughs> your hand if you want to continue playing the game. 
no one wants to play anymore. So I think this means, well, we're playing a mini game. If the lights turn green, that means you voted out the mole. And if the light turns red, it means the mole is still in the box. So the straight girl is still in the box if it is red. Who's it gonna be? Come on, Claire. It's, it's, it's not me. It's, it's, it's not me. It's not me. It's... She's still in. We have a what? I don't know how to do percentage of chance, but one of those girls is the lesbian. So the straight girl's gonna step forward and reveal themselves. Who's it gonna be? Drum roll. We were so close. I didn't buy it at the start, if you remember that, but it wasn't my final vote, so I can't claim it. One of my really, really close friends is a lesbian, so I was talking to her a lot. I do work in children's content review, but I'm also an actor and an acting coach, so I pulled out. This woman is an actor, so that's why we were all fooled. But well done. I had a feeling it was Mara, but that was completely depleted once Alyssa like had loyalty for her. I'm sorry guys, you're so nice, I'm so sorry. I feel so happy that I won. I hope I <laughs> didn't offend anybody during this process. I loved everybody that I met here and I feel bad for lying, but not that bad because I just won, so. <laughs> she did so well, honestly she did. Always wanted to do this. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, so let me know, did you guys guess it right? Like, how good is your gaydar? I guess sometimes you can tell if someone is gay or not by what they wear if you have a really good gaydar. And sometimes you just don't know. And sometimes they pick a girl who has acting experience to be the one who's straight, which is not really fair because I really wanted to be able to guess her and I'm not mad about it at all, I swear. Oh, that was a little bit of fun. I hope you guys have been enjoying the series so far. There's only a couple more videos to go, so... Yeah, this is crazy. Thanks so much for being here. I will see you in two days time. Stay safe and until the next video, I'm sending all my love. Bye!